Matthew 15. Then came Jesus, scribes and Pharisees. Oh, Salaki. Then came to Jesus, scribes and Pharisees, which were of Jerusalem, saying, Why do thy disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. But he answered and said unto them, Why do you also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? Right? They all, like, they're, they're talking about uh, washing somebody's hands, right? When when they themselves are breaking the, the commandments of like uh, honoring your father and mother, right? Because I think it's in Mark, right? Where it says it's the Corbin rule, meaning um, it's talking about uh, them giving uh, money to the, um, to the high priest, right? To the uh, high priest and the judges at that time, instead of uh, helping out their parents, which is, which is a commandment, right? For God commanded saying, honor thy father and mother. And he that cursed father or mother let him die the death. But ye say, Whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, It is a gift by whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me. And honor not his father or his mother, he shall be free. Thus have you made the commandment of God of none effect by your tradition. Right, and that's 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 what the Pharisees were doing at the time, right? They weren't keeping the, the, the law in its entirety, right? Ye hypocrites, will did Isaiah's prophesy of you saying this people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth and honoreth me with their lips but their heart is far from me but in vain do they worship me teaching for doctrines the commandments of men these are commandments of men and he called the multitude and said unto them hear and understand not that which goeth into the mouth defileth a man but that which cometh out of the mouth this defileth the man that, that which comes out of, out of your mouth defiles you, right? Then came his disciples and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees were offended after they heard this saying? But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father hath not planted shall be rooted up. Let them alone. 15. Come verse 15. Then Peter, then answered Peter and said unto him, Declare unto us this parable. And Jesus said, Are ye also yet without understanding? Do not ye yet understand that whatsoever entereth in at the mouth goeth into the belly and is cast out into the draught? But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart, and they defile the man. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, theft, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man, but to eat with unwashed hands defileth not a man. Right, so you can clearly tell, like you can clearly tell, just by reading it in context, right? Which our people don't like. Which our people would, uh, like, they, they don't they don't like to do that, right? This is what the Christian Church um, teaches our people. They teach them to uh, to isolate scriptures, right? Which they accuse us of, right? When when they don't really uh, exegete, right, and um and, and um and really break down the scriptures, right, by reading the context, and um and, and that's our people, right? And and, and people just want to make an excuse. If you get that, was it Sirach thirty two? And fourteen, because um, um, and, and that's that's a whole another ar argument, right? That that um, that, that I mean, that, that's actually what I want to go to in my lesson, right? Because our people uh, uh, love to make an excuse, right? And they try to um, they, they try to um, make it seem like we're in the wrong when when they they they're in fact like when we try to prove prove it prove it to them by the scripture that they're in sin, right? And and then they try to um, like yeah, I, I'll bring it up here in a little bit, but go ahead. Get Sirach 32 and 17. A sinful man will not be reproved, but findeth an excuse according to his will. Right, he findeth an excuse according to his will, right? And and that's the thing. Our people, our, our father, right? Our heavenly father, he didn't he didn't give us an excuse. Give me that in uh what was it uh, Sirach 15 and 20? He he didn't he, he didn't command us to sin, right? He never gave us any leeway to just keep on sinning, right? We could we could read that right when we read the scriptures in harmony that that he never, uh, he never said we could just uh, go on and keep sinning, right? And he, and Christ only came to die 
like we brought we bring, we bring this uh, week in and week out that he only came and died for our sins that are past, right? Before we came to that knowledge of this truth. You got that? Sirach 15 and 20. He that he hath commanded no man to do wickedly, neither hath he given any man license to sin. Right? He didn't he didn't give us a commandment to sin, right? He didn't give us a license um, to keep doing wickedly, man. And that's what our people want to keep doing, right? Um, because what is it? Um, 12, and, um, 12 and 10, right? And, and that's how you become um, uh, an enemy to yourself, right? When you just uh, you just want to make an excuse, right? And you, and you think it's all right uh, to just keep on sinning. Because we got to look at it like, what, what is the Bible, what does the law prohibit us from doing, right? It prohibits us from like um, all these like uh, abominations, right? Like, so you, if you're going to say that it's okay uh, to go in and sin, the Bible literally says you can't, uh, get into uh, bestiality, right? Zoophilia. So just like the the, the the filthy white man, right? White man, you know, he didn't like to have sex with animals, right? Does, does it does it make it our right to have sex with animals now? That's disgusting, man. Hey, what's up, brother, with the backpack? At the bus stop, man. Hey, man, what's going on? <laughs> All right, man. Hey, what, hey, Kashan. What's up with you, brother? Let me talk to you. Nah, bro. Hey, man. Hey, check it out, man. Five minutes, man. You got, you're talking to the brother already, man. Come on. Come on. Hey, bro, it's concerning the plight of our people, man. Don't you want the liberty? Don't, don't you want the liberation of our people, brother? Come on, brother. Just, hey, check me out, man. Just talk to me one time. You said what? Come talk to me though. This is my brother right here, man. Don't you don't you see the resemblance? This is my brother right here. <laughs> hey man. Bro, come on man. I guarantee you that is not more important than, than the word, man. Do, hey, do you believe in God, brother? That's right. Come on, man. Come on, you about to go smoke, bro? Come on, man. So you hey, do you do you love the Lord? Do you love God? Do you believe in God? You think it's all right for him to? Uh, you think it's all right for you to smoke and still worship the Lord? It, 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 wait, let me show you something, man. But I'm you that First Corinthians three sixteen. So you you's gonna go ahead and defy your temple, right? And show. And you think that that that, that shows that that you love God? No. Why you gonna Why you gonna go ahead and do that, bro? Just the way of cope with things. The way you cope with things. Coping mechanism. Yeah. Man, medical. I guarantee you. Medical. I guarantee you, uh, uh, this will be a, a lot better alternative. I mean, like, let me let me ask you this, brother. Um, did you grow up in a church? Like, did you uh, did you uh, grow up going to church? I'm very God fearing. Yes. Are oh, you God fearing? Very. Okay. Um, well, I just want to show you. I just want to hit the. I just want to uh, get uh, get to that point where you said you was going to the smoke shop because you said it's a coping mechanism, right? Well, would you agree that Would you agree that your body is the temple of God? Yeah, but this is something that comes from God's earth. You natural. said what? It comes from God's earth, right? You're natural. saying it's natural, yeah. right? It's natural, right? So, medical. You get natural medical. stuff in the shop? Medical, huh? You get natural uh, weed in the shop? In the shop? Yeah, you better go to the cannabis store, right? No, I already have the cannabis. Yeah, you do, bro. That's irrelevant. I'm I know, asking. I know. Okay, okay. Hey, okay. Put, put this, put this. Oh, opium is natural. No, I'm just saying. Marijuana is medical. Is natural. Yeah, Marijuana natural. is medical. Did you get it naturally grown? Yes, no, I grow it. Really? I grow it. You put chemicals in it? I grow it. You put chemicals in it? No. So it's outdoors. What? So it's outdoors. It's indoors. I know you lying. But we, okay, cool. Regardless, that plant is a mutant, bro. You grow indoor with no chemicals. How's that work? I used to grow. Don't, you can't right. play with me. No so you grow indoor with no chemicals? Yes. Oh. You be lying. I know you lying. <laughs> Check this out, bro. This is what you're saying. This is Genesis 1 and 29. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed. 
which is upon the face of the earth, and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat. So that's a herb bearing seed, right? Marijuana? It's saying it should be for meat, brother. So it's talking about, it's talking about you're only uh, allowed to uh, congest it, right? It should only be for meat. I'm sorry. In, ingest it, I'm sorry. It's a lot. So you, you, it's really only for meat, brother. It'd be better if you, if you, uh, you know what I'm saying? You, you said you already got the cannons with you. It'd be better if you, like, you know what I mean, put it in the tea and whatnot. But smoking it, like, well, that's... You're not doing it for medicinal purposes. You're not doing it for medicinal purposes, are you? You just said you, you do it to... What do you say? Coke. 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 That's, that's, that's for medicine? You cope by, by smoking? I mean, yeah, that's how, that's how I cope with my medical problem, yeah. <laughs> what's wrong with that? Brother, what's your name, brother? My name is Jason. 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 Yeah. yeah. It's a pleasure, Jason. That's all. Is it, is it bad that you smoke something that God has given that comes from the earth? Is that? Smoke it doesn't belong in your lungs. Absolutely. Air doesn't belong in our lungs. Oh, it's air right? does belong in our lungs. Brother. It's I mean, let's put, it's okay, let, 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 let's go down this route. This is proof. Yeah. Smoke doesn't belong in your lungs. Why? When you hit it, you choke. Yeah, right. That's your body's natural it's response. Rejected. It's rejecting the smoke out your body. <laughs> what if you don't call? <laughs> you cough, brother. Like, you cough. I said, what if you don't call? Oh, you smoke so long when you don't call. That means like you, Snoop or Weed. That, or what I mean. that means you've been call? abusing your lungs. That's right. Come on now, brother. You know that, <laughs> yeah. that doesn't belong in lunch. Especially, you said you're God, you're God fearing. God I'm told serious. us what these herbs are used for. For medicinal purposes? For medicinal purposes to eat. Right? There's a reason why our bodies were born with, with THC receptors in our gut and in our brain. No THC receptors are, bo are, are, are found in our lungs. Why? Because we are to ingest it. Right, okay. but see, at the same time, this, this weed that people are, 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 are chasing nowadays is not the same plant that God gave us to begin with. Right, we manipulated it to a point that it's producing high levels of THC and lower levels of CBD, which is CBDs helps for us to do medicinal purposes. You know what I'm saying? So, all these marijuana that people are chasing nowadays are high THC and lower CBD. Why? Because it's a mutant. Right? It's a mutant of a plant that we manipulated for a purpose, man. Right? And especially nowadays, you know that this this marijuana nowadays is straight dope now. Yeah, that's why you gotta kinda be careful when you how you come across it. Right. So yes. I mean the Bible speaks of, you know what I mean, like he gave us give me that in the Sirach. No, about the herbs the, the, the herbs and the where's that in Sirach? I, don't, I would never, I would never ever drink alcohol ever, and I well, never have. That's, that's, that's something that I can totally relate to you on that. Yeah. Totally. And I would never, ever, 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 ever take a sip of any alcohol, ever. Mm. We, I don't know. Bro, this is. To do. Watch this. This is wisdom of Solomon sixteen and twelve. Uh huh. For it was neither herb nor mollifying plaster that restored them to health. But thy word, O Lord, which healeth all things. So, I mean, the word of the Lord should, should heal, us, uh, heal us of all things, man. Right? But he did give us these plants for medical, uh, uh, for medicinal purposes. But going back to the law of God in Genesis, he told us that he gave it to us for to, to eat, bro. You know what I mean? What else you got? You got that in Sirach, the, uh, the physician? Oh, what do you got? You got it. This is Tobit 12 and 10, uh -huh. and it says, But they that sin are enemies to their own self. I mean, you're saying that you're a God fearing man. Do you know what sin is? Can you explain to me what sin is? Sin is something that you do that's going against the wishes of God, right? Or the commandments of God, right? Absolutely. Right? So anything that's going against the commandments of God, right? John 3, 1 John 3 and 4 tells us. If you're breaking God's laws, you're committing sin, right? Can you read that again? Tell me. 
did also say we were born into sin as well, right? The what? He also did say we were born into sin I mean, as this well. World, right? The world is it, it, this sin in the world, absolutely, right? Give me uh, James four and four. This is James four and four. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, uh -huh. know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity, enmity with God? Being in a friend of this world is in enmity with God. Enmity means in in, 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 uh, in a battle or, or or being against, right? Being if you're a friend of this world, accepting the ways of this world, you're in enmity with God. Read. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. So, I mean, if you're accepting either the ways of this world or the ways of the Lord, right? And if you're accepting the ways of the world, you're an enemy of God. And we understand and we understand that the Most High God is going to find his enemies with his right hand. He's going to burn them up, right? As Proverbs says, we got read. This. read. this is a NBC News health news. Marijuana users have found to have lead and other heavy metal in their blood and urine. Let's go down. I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom. Um, there's no, basically there's no safe amount of lead exposure since even low levels can slow children's brain development and result in learning and behavioral problems. In adults, chronic exposure to lead increased the risk of high blood pressure, heart problems and kidney damage. Cadmium, meanwhile, is considered a human carcinogen. A carcinogen? By the World Health Organization Exposure to low levels, such as through tobacco smoke, may lead to kidney disease and fragile bones. So that's what you're ingesting. Let me go up, back. Let me read what it says. It says, marijuana users also had 22 higher levels of cadmium in their blood, according to the research, which was published Wednesday in the journal Environmental Health Perspectives. Urine samples showed similar results. We just scroll down. It says cadmium is this carcinogen. So if you're smoking weed, mind you, this is August... 2023. This is last year. They came out with this. So it's saying the marijuana users, oh, excuse me, among a group of more than 7,200 adults, the 358 reported using marijuana within the past 30 days were found to have 27% higher blood lead levels than those who said they didn't use either marijuana or tobacco. So in 30 days, they had 27% higher blood lead levels. The marijuana users also had 22% higher levels of cadmium in their blood, which is a carcinogen. And it says, um, the races at a team at Columbia University who going in that cannabis plants could absorb heavy metals from soil and in fact are particularly uh, good at doing so. The contaminants travel through the stalk of the plant into the leaves and flowers, but the new findings demonstrate that heavy metals in cannabis plants can also wind up in the human body. So you're transferring from the plant to the body and you're putting carcinogens in your, in your bloodstream. Quite the opposite how it was. It's crazy. Right? And we're saying that we're God-fearing, right? We need to fear God, right? Because the lack of the fear of God, this is what got the, our people suffering in these last days, man, right? This is why Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans are going through what we're going through right now, right? For the lack of fear of the Lord. But see, this is all taught to us through Christianity for 400 years, right? You don't got to fear God no more, right? Just... Just have faith in Jesus Christ and his, and his, and his, and his, and his what, what is it, the final job? What, what's the word? His, his, I forget what the Christian church word, what they use. His, his, uh, his finished work. This is all they tell us. To fear, uh, uh, to, to believe in Christ's finished work. But God tells us to fear him, to keep his commandments. Right? What do you got? Read. This is Sirach 14 and 5. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? Him that is evil to himself, to whom can he be good to? Right? So you destroying your own lungs, you destroying your own temple, you're not even being good to yourself, man. Right? How could you be good to one? How could you be good to someone else, man? Very true. You know what I'm saying? So this is just a thing to think about, man. Right? Toby. This is Toby 12 and 10. But they that sin are enemies to their own life. Them that sin is an enemy to their own life, bro. You know what I mean? And then at the same time,
when you were talking to our brother right there and the brother asked you, do you want to see the liberation of our people? You said, yes. But it starts with one ourselves, right? We had so many men before us to come in with these movements or whatever that all failed, right? Black Panther Party, Brown Berets, Cesar Chavez, that's all failed our communities. Why? Because it didn't come from the Lord, right? The Lord's counsel is going to stand at the end of the day. But us, as our people who are the Israelites of the Bible, who are the black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, he is calling for us to call to come back to him in these last days before this place gets destroyed. You believe America is going to last forever, bro? We see America crumbling right now, right? We're seeing all these moving pieces in the, on the geopolitical world right now that our people should fear in these last days, man, right? What do you got? Give me, um, what do you got? Give me Peter. You know what I need? Mean? Who's that, 3 and 10 down? John, this is Second Peter 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. That day is going to come like a thief in the night. At one moment or another, we're not going to even get it. I mean, we're not going to even see it coming, right? What, how you doing, sis? Oh, you're good. What's your ethnic background? Huh? What's your ethnic background? So, basically, you see this end coming, right? The end, the end of this place is coming real soon. We're seeing this, man. Keep reading. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, uh -huh. and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. He's saying that when that judgment comes, it's going to be melted with fervent heat, elemental, down to the elements. What can do that? We only know what kind of fire that can do that, which is nuclear destruction, nuclear annihilation. So the Bible talks about this place being destroyed by nuclear hellfire, man. Right, read. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Uh -huh. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. Seeing then that everything around us is gonna be dissolved, read. What manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation? What manner, what manner of people shall we be, man, right? Being in all holy conversation. Read. God and godliness. Uh -huh. Looking for and hasting. So like in hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire. Because we're looking forward for this thing. Right? Some people might be like, damn, that's crazy. Some people are looking forward for this place to be destroyed. We are. Because black Hispanics and Native Americans have never seen justice under this white man's rule here in the Americas, man. Right? When was the last time we actually see true justice? Do you know what justice is? Like, what, what, what's your definition of justice? Uh, I don't have one because it's too open. It's, 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 uh, to me, that has too many definitions. Think about everything that the white man has done to us man, for 400 years. Justice to me comes from the system, but the system is not. The system is corrupt. This, so, this system ain't just. Right. So therefore, this system has to be destroyed. Yeah, this, ain't, ain't this just whole it. kingdom got to be destroyed for us to see actually true justice. So everything they have done to black, Hispanic, and Native Americans is going to be done unto them. That's true justice. Right. Right. Read. Right. It says, we're little people throwing out big words. The what? We can stop the little people from throwing out big words, things will change. Well, we're trying to break it down to my new points for our people can understand, right? Keep reading. On. It says, uh, 2 Peter 3 and 12, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God. We're looking forward for this day, right? For the day of God, read. Wherein the heavens, being on fire, shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Uh -huh. Nevertheless, we... According to his promise. Nevertheless, us according to his promise, read. Look for new heavens and a new earth. We're looking for these new things, right? Now, we understand through the Bible says that this world is never going to be destroyed. We're talking about new heavens and a new earth. This is talking about the kingdom, right? Rulership. Okay. This kingdom will be destroyed. The kingdom of God is going to be instilled here on earth. We're looking for that heavens and a new earth. For us to go back to the land of Israel, read. Wherein dwelleth righteousness. In that place when God, when God sends back his son, right? 
and the kingdom of heaven will be instilled here on earth, that's where we're going to see true justice. Read. Fine. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, uh -huh. be diligent. We have to be diligent. Read. That you may be found of him in peace, without spot, and blameless. This is what we must do. Diligently, right? We're looking for where we can be found without spot and blameless, right? And how do we do that? By keeping God's laws, man. Read. Verse 17. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things, be before, beware, lest ye also be led away with the error of the wicked. Uh -huh. Fall from your own steadfastness. So this is what you got to be aware of, bro. You know what I'm saying? And especially if you're saying you're God-fearing and you want to see the liberation of your people, right? It got to start with you, Jason. You know what I mean? You got a flyer, right? All right, whatever information, man, you know what I mean? Hit us on the email or whatever. You got any questions? I don't think I do. I'm asking you for delivering a good message, though. Huh? You guys are actually delivering a good message, though. All praises to the most high. Are you going to take heed? Special. Yeah, are, are you going to take heed? Especially in the weed part. I want to. I, I quit smoking cigarettes June 18th. I haven't weed. had a cigarette. Weed, weed is, is kind of hard. I got to be honest. I've been smoking for a long time. See if this is that <laughs> This is a... Uh, there are, uh, there's a lot of articles at the end, but I'm going to read this. There are several studies and reports that highlight the potential risks associated with marijuana users and schizophrenia. A study found a strong correlation between heavy cannabis use and an increased risk of schizophrenia in young men. This indicates a higher risk of developing schizophrenia in those who use cannabis frequently, especially males. Another study concluded that as many as 30% of cases of schizophrenia among men aged 21 and 30 I have been prevented by averting cannabis use disorder. This underscores the serious nature of the relationship between cannabis use disorder and schizophrenia, particularly in young men. Obviously, you're not a young man, but mm -hmm. it still it still affects you. Right. The same study also not noted that the association between cannabis use disorder and schizophrenia were, was particularly strong among young men. This suggests that while there are many, uh, there may be a risk to all ages. It seems to be especially pronounced in younger demographics. Additionally, potent marijuana products are now widely available and are reportedly causing brain damage in teenagers and young adults. These high-strength marijuana products are believed to be contributing to an increase in cases of marijuana psychosis, including schizophrenia. Finally, recent data shows that, that potent marijuana and more frequent use are leading to higher rates of psychosis, especially young people. So our people are smoking weed at a higher rate. And, they're, they're, and, and the shit's getting more potent now. And, and that's how I said earlier. And they're, and they're shooting each other up, they're game banging, they're, they're going crazy, and it's a side effect to smoke a weed. Um, this further supports the notion that there is a connection between cannabis use and psychiatric conditions such as uh, schizophrenia. Uh, let me go to one of the sources here. Weed, ma this is a title. Weed makes you crazy and gives you heart disease. Why is it legal? That's the question. This is the New York or New York Post. That's accredited, right? Yeah. Let's read. Let's read down. A new peer review study on a significant data set of nearly 60,000 Canadians has shown that adults who misuse pot have a 60% higher risk of experience in their first heart attack. And that's important. You said it's peer review. Uh, it's like, um, a new peer review study on a significant data set of nearly 60,000 Canadians has shown that adults who misuse pot have a 60% higher uh, risk of experiencing their first heart attack, stroke, or other cardiovascular event. So why is it, as I said, why is it legal? So 60% of 60,000 is what? 40,000? 40, 40, <laughs> or is it 35,000? Something like that. Six, you said 60%? 60%. It's like 40,000, I believe. But that's, that's pretty much it. 30, 000, yeah. Why is it legal? What, what? This is the New York Post. This is how long ago was it? Why that? is it legal? Let's, let's, let's ask ourselves that question. September 29th, 2023. The first one rate is August 30th, 2023. This is a month later. That too. But it's also the decay of the society. Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and, the decay of the society, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. And that's why they legalize, uh, uh, they, they put, they put like, what, 30 million into needles and have people shoot up uh, fentanyl and all that stuff for free? I'm giving you clean needles instead of have you, help you get off the drug. I'm going to have you go to the facility. Biden passed a $35 million budget just for people to get clean needles now. And they, and they literally ride around on carts, driving past people on the streets, give them needles. It's crazy. Why would they do that? I heard 
they do that because all the people that die in the city, if their body isn't claimed in 48 hours, the city gets five million dollars per body. So that's so why. I don't know. How do you get five million dollars per body? That doesn't make sense. From who? I'm just telling, that's what my worker told me when I got my house. Why would they get five million dollars? Because I asked her, I was like, well, why is housing, why is Section 8 so backed up? She was like, well, it's backed up because we have to try to gather all these people up. You know, we have to give them like five, ten notices and put them in these houses. But the city's only doing this and chasing them around because those people that they put in these houses, if they OD or pass away, and their body isn't claimed in 48 hours, the city gets $5 million. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. This is from somebody who works for the city. Huh? I mean, what does that benefit them, though? Like? That's why they're giving all these needles and stuff and letting you use drugs. So it's part of the it's it's part to get the, money. The, the way to combat this new epidemic. <laughs> they're funding they're, they're that. They're turning into a cash cow. It's crazy, man. I'm just saying, though. It's just a corruption of it. Yep. Is it the K? Is it the K of this horror called United Snakes of America, man? Read. But here, but I, this is what I was saying. Like with the article I just read, like why would you continue to? No, still... I want to quit smoking. I really do. That's why I quit smoking cigarettes. I want to so quit smoking. We're talking about weed, though. I want to quit smoking. I really do. Yeah, I've been we're smoking. Encourage, we're encouraging you to push that to the side. Oh, and it's what I was gonna say is when you said that because I was thinking about that just yesterday. Like, so yeah, and I really want to quit. Work? I really want to quit smoking weed. So, so I said here, for here. two reasons. One, it, at the end of the day, it does cost an arm and a leg. And two, <laughs> two, no, two, it kind of like limits what you can do because you're so relaxed all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. It keeps you at such a yeah, yeah at a complacent level. Like, well, here's what I was gonna say because you, you said earlier, right, right from the jump, you said that you, you're using it to cope, and then I, then it came back around that you're using it to cope for other medical concerns. Was yeah. that true? Yeah. I have a fat, you know, my, my shoulder and my back is kind of like... So instead of using prescription drugs... I would use, never, I don't, I don't like, I don't... Well, yeah, I, 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 can, I can see what you're saying with yeah, that, but I'm that. saying like, they have patches for that, they have creams for that. You don't have to smoke it to get that, that, uh, that healing property. Oh, no, you're Especially right, okay, with CBD, yeah. like you're CBD right. is the property that heals you. Right. The THC gets you high, like you don't right. need to be high to get the well, healing properties out of the weed. Yeah, no, I can agree with so that, that's yeah. what we're trying to say, like, well, yeah. you're doing it because it makes you high. Right. You're not doing it for the medicinal purpose, even though it comes with that. Right. Because you don't need it to get high. You want to get high. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Well, that's a different subject. No, that's the same subject. No. It's the same, it's the same topic. The weed topic. It's the topic oh, is weed. Okay, 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 okay. If you're okay. using it for medicinal purposes, using a medicinal property out of it, it's the CBD. Right. Only, not you, smoking. only you can be honest with yourself. You can tell us whatever. Ask yourself, am I chasing a high or am I really trying to, like, be you, bro? That's, that's something that you can, only you can answer to yourself, man. I think that I can really function and still be okay without weed. I think, I, I really believe that. We're not saying weed is the problem, though. It's how you're using it. Exactly. That's what we're saying. Oh. So we don't have a problem with weed. We, like nobody that. should be smoking weed. I like that. We ingest like weed. You can have it. Like, you go to a canvas club, canvas club right on the street. They got weed soda, weed ice cream, chocolates, okay. all that yeah, type of yeah. stuff. Edible. Okay, okay. We don't have an issue with that okay. per se, but if you're just using it just to get high, then you're a fiend. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you might as well just... No, I get, no, okay. When you turn it to that aspect, it's different. You just started with the weed and it's kind of like, well, weed. Well, no, we, we, we always said about smoking weed. That's all we said. We said smoking weed and just to put it in your lungs is bad. That's what we said. We didn't say nothing about weed being bad. We said how you... How you uh, utilize it. Yeah, how, you, okay, how okay. you deliver it into yeah. your system. Okay, 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 you know. Okay, right, okay. I can accept that. Yeah, so that's how, you know, this is what we, we, we want to leave you with, Jason, because it's very important. Not only, like I was saying, because the change of our people starts within ourselves, man, right? So you're saying you're God-fearing, but let's be God-fearing, right, Reed? This is Proverbs 6 and 23. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. So this is the way of life, right? And it says that what? The, the, what's the lamp? Read. Read that again. Con. It says, for the commandment is a lamp. The commandment is a lamp. The commandments of God. Read. And the law is light. And the reproofs of instruction are the way of life. So the law is life and the reproof and of instruction is the way of life, right? So this is how our people are going to start living, right? through the laws of God. Because right now our people are just, just existing, man. Right? Give me a little translation. It's the same one. It says, their instruction are a shining light. Their correction can teach you how to live. You love God? You fear God? Love 
you're good. Okay. Well, let's just read this and see if it matches up what you're telling us. This is Sirach 2 and 15. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, and they that love him will keep his ways. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him. Let's see what's pleasing unto him. And they that love him shall be filled with the law. That's what it says. You gotta keep the law. And we read first in Genesis 129, herbs are for meat, which is you ingest them. That's what, that's what the law says. You know what I mean? And nobody's putting smoke in their lungs and trying to function as a righteous, as many say. Yeah, there's no way you're being righteous or God fearing. You're destroying the temple of God, basically. Give me that. All praise to the Most High, man. Read. This First Corinthians three and sixteen. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, uh -huh. and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. God is going to destroy those that are defiling the temple of God, which is in ourselves now. Right. So this is not just one law. There's plenty of laws, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you eat pork? Not really, but no. Yeah, that's a that's that's a law in itself. You know what I mean? We're not to eat. Well, well, there's a lot of pork in everything, right? And that's why we are to be diligent. Going back to diligence. You know what I'm saying? So then, yeah, Jason, you got any other questions? Like I said, I'm glad I stopped. It's a pleasure talking to you, Jason. All right. I'm glad, I'm glad that, you know. Yeah, I'm like praising you. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it, brother. Absolutely. I'm praising you. You know, reach out to me and get me to see yeah. where you were trying to say it. Yeah. Because I kind of had it like. Yeah, I'm glad you waited and, and, and you had the patience. You know what I mean? Yeah. God bless y'all. I'll praise you. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. So that's the whole duty of man.